She's in love. That was one pound. Girl. Ooh, she's thick. Mm-hmm. But she's cute. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I'm so in love with her. And she's in love. In love with me. y'all okay anyways hello as you can tell i'm in a really good mood because we're doing hair today so hi welcome or welcome back to the channel which is here renee um if you are new here make sure you subscribe i will be trying all new products today i'm using some k18 hair treatment stuff and i'm using some pattern by tracy ross here but first things first we have to do a pre-poo why it's necessary especially after a protective style Mm -hmm. I just took out the knotless braids that I had in my hair for one entire month. And I don't do anything fancy for my pre-pulls. The most important thing I do is detangle it and I do an oil treatment. So what you could do is heat up some water, put your oil bottle in that container of water, and then add it to your scalp. And I make sure to add it to my ends because when you rinse it out, the product from the scalp seeps through the strands of your hair. So, you know, I'm going to do that today, but I'm going to put on my cap because I have some work to do. So I'm just going to let this marinate in my hair for a good two hours. So I don't need it to be hot because if you didn't know, your scalp releases its own heat. That's why if you ever realize when you dye your hair, your roots die quicker. It's because our scalp releases heat. So um, the dye takes to the hair at the roots quicker. Alright guys, now that my hair is all braided up, I'm going to put on my cap. I'm going to let this sit and marinate and then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair with some regular regular shampoo. And then I'll come back when it's time to do the K18 treatment. So I'm back, freshly washed. And this is what my hair looks like with absolutely no product whatsoever. As you can tell, these are definitely going to be my focal point pieces for today's session. What this K18 repair hair mask is supposed to do is strengthen your hair, especially if you suffer from heat damage, which is what I have, or any like chemically processed hair. So they say you're supposed to put like one pump throughout your whole hair. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use one pump per side because I just don't see how that's going to work. I got a lot of hair. Y'all, I can't believe I spent like $25, $30 on this little ass bottle. Like, what's supposed to be in this? And they say you're supposed to leave it in your hair. Do not rinse it out and do not condition your hair. You're just supposed to put this in your hair, leave it in for four minutes, and then style as usual. So I split my hair into two, and I'm going to start with my front section because it needs to love the most. Like, basically, this is my leave-out portion when I would do styles like quick weaves and things like that, girl. I should have put on a wig. Let's see how much one pump gets us. That was one pump. Girl, I don't even think that was a full pump. I'm going to try to use this for this section. It feels like there's absolutely nothing on my hair. Because what the heck? So far it has a nasty smell. I don't know. I don't like it. It don't smell good. You guys, do you see the line of demarcation from where... I have a, a ton of density and then things get thin. I don't know what happened at the back of my head. I'm guessing heat damage, but it's like, how did they only get heat damage in the middle section of my hair? Like my ends right here are great. This end right here is super straight. This middle part is fine. This middle part is straight. Like, I don't get it. My hair is just... It's just completely different all over. So it's like, that's why I never know what to cut off because my hair is messed up in a lot of different areas around my head. These straight pieces in the front are just looking 
terrible. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, y'all. I'm using way more of this product than what you're supposed to. But listen, sometimes, you know, people be saying stuff is for all hair types, but sometimes I be feeling like the directions don't be for me, if you get what I'm saying. Because how is one pump supposed to do all my hair? Also, the bottle says to, to do this consecutively four times. Um, and then you could do like every other time or something like that. Like every other time you wash your hair. So I am going to be doing this treatment every single time. And then I'm going to update y'all. So that will probably be like in maybe three or four months. Oh, and also, this side of my head is completely different from this side. This side has less heat damage. So, I think this is the worst part of my of my hair on this side of my head. Like, this is the worst you're going to see. This is the worst part of my entire head, but it's on the better side of my head. If that makes any sense, like, my head is confusing. I don't even remember how I damaged my hair this much. You see how it's not that bad on this side? It's mostly curly. Um, I'm gonna use less product on this side. But I am. I feel good. All right, so all of the product is in my head. If I could get rid of my heat damage, I would definitely wear my hair out in this curly state. I am super excited to try pattern. I told y'all earlier, so I got the styling cream. I'm really excited to see like the consistency of this. So this is what she's looking like. I can tell she's on the thick side, so we love that. Oh yeah, she's hella thick. Period, and that's exactly what we need, so. And then I also picked up her Stronghold Gel because we don't want to slick back, boo, okay? I want to see my curls popping in my little slick back um, claw clip style. So the gel is nice and manageable, and I love that. It's not like an edge control. It's nice and manageable, and that's exactly what I was looking for. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, my hair don't look no different, and it don't feel no different, but... I'm going to stay optimistic. All right, so we got our first section. Y'all see how dry my hair is? I don't want to start doing my hair like that. I can't even detangle my hair on dry hair. So I want it to be damp. However, I do not want to add water to my hair because I don't want to dilute the K18 treatment. So it says style as normal. So I'm going to go in with some of this scalp relief tea treatment leave-in since I didn't get another leave-in from Pattern. This stuff is amazing. So far, all I've been doing is putting it on my scalp when I had my braids in. Um, I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my scalp feel. So now I get to test it on my actual hair since it is a leave-in. And I forgot, what is this? The pre hands method? I love using this method to um, smooth products throughout my hair. Ooh, she's thick. Oh my God. Ain't no dime size amounts over here, baby. <laughs> we gonna use some products. Oh, already this is making my curls pop. Do you see that? Okay. I know that's right. I'm gonna start detangling with, what is this, a dimming brush? Girl, I don't even know. I hate how different my textures are. Like, do y'all see that difference? Ugh. Oh, okay. I know this sound looks crazy because of the white cast, but trust me, it does dry in black. Um, we got all of our, like, wet products into our head. And so far, I love how my hair is still, like, soft and manageable. Even though 
this um even though this cream is super thick like me <laughs> even though this cream is super thick um your hair is still going to be lightweight and manageable so i do love that about this product so now it's time to actually style it which is me putting it in a ponytail <laughs> do y'all see how soft this gel is it's like a jelly custard this thing too none of those products smell good i love having a product that smells good i'm gonna cop to you like what's that miss jesse stuff one of her products or some of her products smell great nice and sticky so it should have some good hold And if you are still using those scrunchies that have that metal thing or any type of thing that could pop or break your hair off, please throw them away right now. I think the the um the ones by Goody are really good. I should be able to do this whole section. My hair is kind of thinner at the top oh yeah that was one brush are you kidding me hold on do you see how flat i was able to get that i did that big section oh last section All right, we're all pulled back. What I love to do is just add a little bit of gel on top and then just the access, I'm gonna scrunch my hair. So, you know, the curls can like stay coiled. This gel so far is my favorite product. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my edges. I have to have a ton of baby hairs. Like that's what like really be pulling this style all together no my battery's dying hold on y'all give me one minute i'm back in action and we're about to do our edges i use style factor edge booster just adding a little bit more so these pieces up here i don't know if you can tell but that piece of hair was about to come up yeah we want you to stay down and locked in lock in for what speak out and then i'm going back in with my edge booster for my edges If you struggle laying your baby hairs, one thing I've realized, I have to use the brush and the comb. And I like my baby hair to have a little curl. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see, don't want these to go this way today. I told y'all, like, the baby hair is always my favorite part. Mm-hmm, the curly curl. Y'all, my new skincare routine, I know I have, like, that blur effect on. I don't even know how to take it off. But my skin routine is getting me right. I have to put y'all on to the new products that I got. I got some um, more Korean skincare, and it's honestly life-changing. And what I be trying to do is, if you have heat damage like me, when it's time to put your claw clip in, I try to pull, like, straight pieces that I don't want showing underneath. So, like, the clip will be right there. I kind of, like, pull them underneath so they're down, and then I pull them up so my clip will sit right there, if that makes any freaking sense. That's just something that I realized kind of works. And then I pull all the hair up. See this strip piece? Uh-uh. Pull you up, boo-boo. And then... And I'm going to let my little straight pieces breathe, too, because it's like... We're going to get y'all together eventually, so I ain't even tripping. This one comes a little too much. Hold on now. All right. 
I love it. I love it. All right, let me zoom y'all back out. Okay, so this is the final result. I hope that looks right. Yeah, it looked like a big puff ball from the back, don't it? But she's cute and she's stylish. And this is honestly my favorite go-to style. I just can't do it all the time. And I don't recommend that you do it all the time because pulling your hair back um, a lot in tight styles like this um, makes you have breakage right around this area where the um, hair tie goes. So do it in moderation um, and make sure you do protective styles in between. But I'm rambling now. I hope y'all enjoyed my hairstyle baby hair tutorial first review video if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye mamas